Hi, uh, real quick, I wanna give two seconds of context on the video you're about to watch. This is the official behind the scenes of Eye of the Storm, which is my film that came out last week, which hopefully you've already seen. We put so much time and effort into not only the project itself, but also this behind the scenes. So I hope you guys can see that, and I hope you guys understand how much this project means to me and the entire team. Alex and I put this behind the scenes together for Canon's official YouTube page, which is an honor for me and a mind blowing step in my career. So I hope you guys enjoy this behind the scenes. It's not a normal YouTube one, I promise. It's gonna be worth your time. So I love you guys. I'm gonna shut up now. Enjoy the making of The Eye of the Storm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, left. Now a little bit right. Take a photo. Hopefully the dogs take off and then you guys just start. Yeah, exactly. Okay, go, go, go. Hi, <laughs> my name is Sam Newton. I am the creator and director of the short film, Eye of the Storm which is a short film that was created in collaboration with Canon USA, which is still <laughs> pretty crazy to say out loud. This whole process started when I got the opportunity of a lifetime to be an ambassador to represent the Canon brand. They wanted a project in the next couple months, and so we went out to Norway and we made it happen. Once the project got into motion, I was able to bring together my team, Alex Romo, who helped edit and film the entire thing, and Luke Jackson Clark, who helped just kind of be a producer on the ground in Norway. And lastly, we have Julia Gartner, who the film is actually about. And not only is Julia a world-renowned photographer and filmmaker, but she is a close friend of mine, and she gave me the honor to tell her story. Working with Julia was uh, a pretty cool experience. She has this eye for seeing things that most people just wouldn't normally see. So the film itself is about Julia and her relationship with anxiety and depression. Julia had a pretty tragic thing happen to her at such a young age that she felt trapped and alone and just picking up a camera allowed her to kind of reignite her love for nature that she once had. Photography was that outlet for her to push through those hard times and those dark times and gave her more of a reason to see the world in a different light. I think the film itself is this cool connection with what photography can mean to a person. You know, how photography and just being creative can help people get out of dark parts of their lives. So we had the concept, we had the location, and we had the team. But from the very beginning, we realized that this project was not going to be easy. No, 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 no. Right from the beginning, Alex and I got put into a three-day quarantine, which for me turned into a 10-day quarantine. That whole situation was just ironic, I guess, because it paralleled the story that we were supposed to be telling in Norway in terms of battling anxiety and having this creative purpose kind of push me through that uh, quarantine. But finally, after 10 days locked in a hotel room, we were there. We had made it to the Lofoten Islands. For a director creating this kind of film, it's quite possibly the perfect destination. It has these giant cascading mountains, these rugged landscapes, and of course it's in the Arctic Circle. Right as we showed up, this storm by the name of Gita had rolled through with 70 kilometer per hour winds, snow, rain. But for how intense Lofoten is and how intense the storm was, um, you know me and my friends, we uh, we didn't take things as seriously. Did we walk this far?
At the end of the day, we were four friends who had an incredible opportunity to tell a beautiful story. Looking back, I think that this film can hopefully resonate with people on the power of photography and the power of Julia's story and what photography can do for people going through dark times. And um, I'm excited. I'm excited for people to see it. So this was my very first project with Canon USA as a Canon collab member. And I couldn't have asked for a better brand to help me bring this vision to life. Canon cameras not only are famous for being built to last and can easily withstand all of the different environments, the rain, the snow, um, the cold temperatures, the equipment itself we knew wasn't gonna let us down. It was my first time ever shooting on the C70. I was able to take it into different spots that you wouldn't really be able to take a bigger rig, just the run and gun capabilities. Pair that with all of the RF glass that we shot with, you know, just having a company like Canon believe in our vision and provide us with the equipment that we needed was a dream come true. For this project, so many different things went wrong and I could make an entire film on that itself. Just kidding, it didn't actually work out. The 10 days in quarantine to going from what was supposed to be almost two weeks of shooting to shrinking the entire production into three days. That's what it's all about, adapting and telling the best story possible. Overall, this was the most incredible experience I could have ever asked for. You know, making this film alongside some of my best friends, shooting it with a company and a dream partner like Canon USA, getting to see a, a side of the world that is just mind-blowing was a life-changing experience. It's a beautiful story and a film I could not be more stoked to show you guys. And I'm so honored to give you the release of my newest film in collaboration with Canon USA, Eye of the Storm.